guys welcome back to my channel where if you didn't see before I am a fantasy author and today we're going to be looking at my goals journal and update because at the start of this year I decided on 10 big goals and I thought we would have a look and see how they're going so the only thing that's really changed is releasing book four in the Bloodline Alliance series. If you've been following me, you'll know that that's just not happening anymore. But don't worry, the original series still stands as it is. Um, but let's move on to my first one, which was a newsletter. So my subscribers have gone up. I'm actually really happy with that. I'm hoping for 100 by the end of the year. And I'm hoping that my free prequel short story coming out uh, next month, actually, will help get some more subscribers for that as well. I have been releasing a flash fiction every month which um, this month I think was the Banshee and that was really fun to write. So my free book is the prequel short story that I was just talking about and that is going ahead and I'm really excited about that. Just got the edits pack from the editor actually and that's going out free to my subscribers in May. So if you are interested go and sign up for that down below. I will leave the link under this video. And then my next goal, as I said, was that book release, which isn't happening now. So I'm just going to start that because that's not happening. That's one goal that we have cut off. But the next couple of goals are to do with my Queen's Guard series, which I am really, really excited about. Some major changes there. I'd actually written the first two books um, during the previous two nanos, and I wanted to um, update them, edit them, and get ready to write Queen's Guard number three. But in doing some of the edits, I've decided to replot the books and rework them. And that's what I'm working on right now. I am replotting book one and book two in the hopes of rewriting, rewriting books one and book two in the next few months. Now, I'd love to get um, Queen's Guard three written before Nano so that Queen's Guard number four could be my Nano project. But we will see. It'll probably end up being Queen's Guard number three is my nano project so moving on to my subscribers and it took me a while to get past 350 but I have now surpassed that and I am so excited thank you all so much for being here and if you aren't a subscriber please consider hitting that subscribe button and coming back to see us again soon so what I'm doing in this is I'm writing down the titles of all the videos that I'm writing and now I'm actually doing two videos a week one on a Monday and one on a Thursday so all of the weeks are written down just so that I can keep track of the sort of videos that I am doing because I think that would be nice to look back on and see the progress of the journeys that I do. So the next thing is my Instagram followers. Now I did do a Q1 review which goes through a little bit more detail about those stats that you can see on the right hand page. But for my followers... Um, it goes up and down because you get a lot of bots or people following you just for a follow back. So that's why these go up in increments of five. Um, but I am really happy overall with my Instagram and it is a learning curve for me in terms of trying to put out content that people are engaging with. Um, but I think I am making some really solid connections on Instagram. And, and to be honest with you, I just love it so much. That's probably one of my favourite platforms. Although I have joined TikTok which I'm enjoying too. So one of my last goals was about reading more and reviewing more. So um, I got in a little bit of a reading funk last year. So my goal was to be able to read and review 12 books this year. So I have read 12 books, yay, and it's April. I haven't reviewed them all. Um, so I'm focusing on reviewing the indie books first. Um, but things that I've read, um, I read the Cruel Prince trilogy, can't say that, the Cruel Prince trilogy. I've also read the first two books in a young adult um, paranormal romance series by Leah, is it Leah Coupland? Um, that is a fab series. I've also started reading the first two books in Abby Fox's fantasy romance, that's adult. And I've also read... The, so those two are indie authors and then I've also been reading Jennifer um, Jennifer JLA's From Blood and Ash series. So they are very, very, very sparsy, but they are very enjoyable. I'm on book four. Yes, that is the one with all the controversy, but it is what it is. I have been reading that. I probably will do a video on that soon because I just think it's been so big 
in the book world, like some of the things that have happened, I do not agree with at all. Um, but yeah, I'm just going on a tangent there. But here are the books that I have um, read. I've been trying to write down a few little bits what I think of them as well. And they are my goals. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed me updating the um, goals journal. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.